uh, this is the Hungarian members of the Hungarian Scout Folk Ensemble, which was founded in 1973 uh, by Andras and Magdi Temesvári. It's a group of Hungarian scout leaders, all of whom work on Friday night with little kids, teaching them the Hungarian language and culture. And what he's wearing is from the Matyó region of Hungary, and these are all hand embroidered here in Cleveland by members of the ensemble and their parents. One of the requirements for being in the ensemble is to be able to speak, read, and write fluent Hungarian. And these are all average American teenagers in various, they attend various suburban high schools and they also are involved in Hungarian folk dance. Now is this something they actually wear in Hungary? Uh, on festive occasions only. Still to this day? Yes. And what about your outfit? Uh, this is the women's version of the outfit. Um, again, hand embroidered on the scarf and on the apron as well, down at the bottom. Um, the Mokyo people were uh, migrant workers, and so instead of putting their money into their land or their animals, they spent most of their income on their costume. It was their way of showing their wealth since they traveled, and they also brought the traditions and fashions of other regions to new regions, and so they're costumes are very specific to their region because it differed from all the other villages that were around them. Now did this come, like were your parents involved in this organization or what brought you to the organization? My parents were founding members of the dance group and my grandparents were founding members of the scout troop. So it's What about enough. you? My parent is right here and he was also a member of the dance group and I am also, so yes it's And his mom was a director for seven years of the, of the ensemble.